वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल चीफ इंडिया कृष्णन ईयर ऑन बी ऑफ ऑफ न्यू एज ऑनलाइन मैरिन अकेडमी सम ऑफ दम आई वास्ट मी अबाउट हाउ टू यू नो हाउ द एम पी सी यू नो टू टेल इन डिटेल ओके इट्स गुड दैट देर वास्ट मी वाइल आई वॉज स्टिल ऑन बोर्ड बिकॉज इट्स ईजी फॉर मी टू शो नाउ आई हैव टू एम पी सी सी ईयर वन इज एम पी सी टेन दिस इज एम पी सी टेन एंड दिस इज एम पी सी ओके फर्स्ट ओके what is mpc is as you know very well multi purpose controller why it is called as multi purpose controller is it is its ability to perform multiple functions okay as i have told in my previous videos the mpc has the capability to receive and to send analog and digital signals okay uh basically it's like a multi layered pcb you have it's basically an input output board this is not a hmi panel where you can touch something and see it uh you cannot give any command here okay so it's just an input output board very costly board as we are talking today it's a uh, mpc uh, this is costing about 7000 dollars and this is costing about 15000 dollars as on 8th november 10th november 2023 <laughs> to be very precise and uh, okay when it comes to the construction aspects first i will finish this one okay regarding the mpcs this is a multi layered pcb okay you can assume something like that this is the heart of the electronic engine because it it basically it controls the engine okay so what are all the parts of an mpc uh it's having you can see now it's having a battery this is a battery lock here we are using 3 volt 190 milliamps battery uh, cr2032 and this is for id key okay id key okay i will this is the id key the id key is the one this you can call it as dongle people call it as dongle or the id key id key is the one which is pre programmed okay this is pre programmed and this tells the mpc what to do suppose if you are uh, installing an mpc in ecu ecu a id key tells the uh, mpc that Uh, you are in ecu a and this is the functions you have to do this is very important so what you what we used to do is when when you are if you are going to replace an mpc that time you have to safely take care of the old old uh, dongle key and then insert it back back again for the mpc to function normally okay and uh, uh you can uh, the, the program of the id key can be altered by means of dip switches but it is just for your knowledge i am telling we are not supposed to alter until the maker gives permission okay this is about the id key okay uh this i have covered this actually this uh, this is the port where you can connect the service technician will connect the laptop mam technician will connect the laptop this is the slot for the id key and uh, you can see here this is the white color uh bulb for led okay led mpc communicates to the operator by means of color codes okay color codes by means of fluorescent light or green light or uh, another one is yellow light when you put the mpc in test mode this will glow in yellow and another one is the red light which is triggering an alarm okay so this is uh, the led while the mpc in operation you can follow the how the led is uh, flashing or uh, what kind of uh, light it is and also in the manual you can refer to the manual for the uh, the led flashing with respect to the time okay especially when you start the system there is a separate procedure you, uh, while you replace the mpc what are all the things you have to follow okay that we are not coming to now uh, okay this is the these are all the fuses you can see here these are all the fuses in the mpc and uh, this is the uh, power uh, power cable this is powered by 24 volt supply from the ups cabinet ups a and ups b i would have showed you in one video from there it gives the it gets the power supply and the battery backup is as i already told you 3 volt battery you have to install here and uh, you see these two are actually transformers inside because uh, why the transformer is there actually you know uh, not all the parts are working on 24 volt supply for leds and all you don't require 24 volt so here you have 3 volt also uh, uh, 5 volts also uh, components are there 3 volt that's why you yeah, suppose if the main power is switched off the battery can make the mpc function 
so this for the transformer for stepping down the DC voltage and uh, okay dip switches this is one set of dip switch this is yes one okay this is the kind this is one set of dip, dip switches and this is you can see here the red color chamber where you have another kind of dip switches okay the dip switch position you have to set as per the maker and uh, usually it will be factory set this is the you know position for the uh, brown off orange on so this you have to refer for this okay and uh, you can see here uh, next to the dip switch there is a reset button which is there if there is an alarm you can use the reset button and uh, okay what are all the other things did i miss something did i miss anything i think yeah and another thing is like you know mpcs are getting uh, uh in the uh, many people in the in me engine when you uh, go for classes and all they will tell that uh, you know all the components are know what others are doing because the mpcs are connected to the lan how we are uh, telling me engine is online is these mpcs are connected to the lan so they are all internet work only the control is uh, individual but everything since everything is connected to the lan everything is online it's just like our common in the, if you see in the ships which you work you you have a common network right same like that so these are all connected to the lan lan a lan b okay so okay now you can ask you know like this same like this you can see here uh, for the mpc 10 Uh, for the MPC10, this is for the ID key slot. This is for the ID key slot. These are all the LEDs. Actually, you can see in the LEDs. This is for CCU guys. For other uh, for other units, you, this is the, this is the MPC uh, which needs to be uh, which will be used in other units like ECU, TCU, and uh, EACU. And this is for only for CCU. Okay. you cannot replace this with this you cannot install this mpc inside ccu cabinet and uh, same like that this is the status lamp led light and this is the dip switch and uh, this is the id key this is the service terminal for connecting to the laptop okay the battery is uh, you have to disconnect this chamber so and this is having uh, for uh, this is a power socket this mpc 10 uh, for uh, Anything else? Okay. There also a uh, TACO A, TACO B signals. This is the receiver for those junctions for the uh, uh, TSA, TSA A and TSA B TACO signal amplifier. This MPC receives uh, digital signals from the TACO units because this has to know the uh, engine RPM and the crank angle position, which uh, getting uh, its feedback from the uh, tsa tsa box tsa a and tsa b okay now you can ask uh, what is the difference actually because that fellow has last like there was mpc what is the difference between mpc and mpc 10 mpc 10 is having very restricted functions it's only is in it's in ccu so that's why it's it's compact because the number of ports if you see it's having only about 15 or 20 ports that's all because it's it's control is uh, restricted it's controlling only four things right third engineer ccu imagining as such a third engineer it will it, it will control fuel injection exhaust valve operation and uh, cylinder lubrication and starting air valve operation so this four only this is doing okay and but this one that's why this is compact and it is cheap uh but this one this uh, having about 50 terminals this can control about 15 cylinders so th this is a very complicated board that's why it is more costly and its application is large so this is the difference and uh, okay what are all the other things uh, the safety is in the mpc fuses you can call it as safety 
and uh, NPC is fitted with uh, noise pulse detector insulation resistance monitoring actually you have to and uh, whether the desired noise is available otherwise you will get an alarm so this we call as IRM monitor which is available in the MOP and uh, you have to see with the insulation resistance uh, value so this is with respect to that and uh, you can see here uh, this comes with the box whenever you want to do any maintenance in the MPC follow the safety of wearing the band in the wrist because this is subjected to uh, damage because of due to static electricity so this is also this is a safety precaution you have to take when you do maintenance on the MPC maintenance in the sense you can uh, uh, this is this battery requires to be replaced uh, at the fifth year but it's better to consult with the maker the exact date of renewal it's better to consult with the maker because CR2032 3 volt 190 milliamps is the capacity of this battery so the maker will tell you when to replace and uh, this shelf life is about 64,000 hours so once the system once it completes its shelf life you, you have to land it back to MAN MAN actually it's having a program uh, it's not a it's having a procedure actually for landing uh, if you see any damaged MPC should be uh, landed to MAN with this report any failures or after this is for reconditioning basically for their study also whether it can be brought back into service which we cannot make sure whether it can be done or not because and every MPC is also having a serial number so that's why I'm telling when you when you when you are in a situation where you have to replace an MPC please uh, convey these things and all to the maker and then with his instructions only whether mostly it will be compatible otherwise they won't give you as a yard spare this comes when the engine is delivered this comes as a critical spare preferably it will be kept in chief in your cabin this to be stored in a cool and a safe environment and uh, okay uh, some of them have asked regarding about uh, normal routine checks and uh, okay normal routine checks is when you take around just see the operation of LEDs okay uh, how what is the through LEDs only MPC communicates to the operator so that you can do and uh, function testing you are doing function testing you are putting MPC in the test mode thereby verifying its uh, you are reconfirming its function so that time you are checking the working of MPC also okay and uh, this is about it and any other thing did I miss regarding what he has asked mm, yes, uh, okay what is uh, the procedure to replace the battery battery can be replaced by two ways one is through the dip switches the engine should be at stop okay the you can there is a separate procedure for replacing the battery uh, you can do by means of dip, uh, dip switch also and another thing is you can uh, use after this thing with the power on directly you can by using the dip switch you are actually enabling into the service mode and then you can do that uh, replacement uh, I hope I have covered everything guys whatever this uh, candidate has asked for and uh, okay regarding the fuse no uh, you can see the fuses actually these fuses if in case if it requires replacement uh, install a new fuse from the fuse kit which is being provided by the maker the MAN uh, will give you the fuse kit uh, which will be you know uh, which you need to store it better along with the spare uh, MPCs because that also needs to be stored in a uh, very safe and a cool place uh, why I am telling is I have had a personal experience in this where if you try to use a fuse from normal general electric store there will be a mismatch in size and the rating so you need to install it either from the old MPC sometimes you will have a old MPC which which is you uh, you may require to land maybe in future you can remove a fuse from that uh, before of course you will check whether ETO will check whether it's uh, working or not then you can install it because these fuses are you know, it's just, uh, very specific 
you cannot uh, uh, find it in the ETO electrical store. And uh, okay, just anything, guys. Okay, one of the fellow has asked about um, Mewis duct and uh, how effective is the Mewis duct and uh, how effective is the air bubble uh, system. Uh, these things are actually coming under, as you know very well, it's coming under fuel optimization techniques, uh, reducing the carbon footprint. Where and this topic actually we have planned for our uh, online interactive session because this really requires an interaction. So. Uh, another thing is, I just want to conclude this video. Uh, before uh, before I conclude this video, I would like to thank all my viewers, all the viewers and the subscribers of our channel, of the the people who are subscribed to our channel, because uh, I came to know from my colleague that there has been a good uh, feedback. Thanks for that, and uh, my humble suggestion will be like. Uh, uh, kindly have some time with you before you click to our channel because you know very well that we are not you know like uh, professional youtubers who can create videos in shots because our content doesn't support that so uh, please bear uh, uh, with that and because as we are talking now on 10th november 2023 i really don't know when these videos you will be seeing in uh, when these videos will be getting uploaded because the way is like uh, we, we take the videos based on the candidates feedback and at least some of the videos uh, and later on whoever is signing off we hand over the I hand over the video to them and then from them it's going on to my colleague uh, Chief Inya Karthikeyan who is on leave right now and he is uploading actually these videos are pretty raw and uh, there is no editing or something like that because uh, content is what matters as you know very well so I hope our channel videos are useful to you.